Postman, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. cat. Early in the morning, just, just as the sun day. is dawning. Cool. That feels he's a very happy man. Happy lucky, <laughs> I, th- I said happy, <laughs> you said lucky. <laughs> Detour the podcast, the show where we don't know what we're talking about and you don't know what you're listening to. All right, all right. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about Christopher Paley. <laughs> Straight into it. <laughs> no, 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 let's wait, wait, wait. Let's have a lead up. Because that was very confusing. <laughs> Fav- favorite. <laughs> Let's take it Get two. it out. <laughs> take two. Um, favorite fantasy series. Favorite special. fantasy series. Yeah. Uh, I first, I think we should probably acknowledge the other voices that people are hearing right now. All voices are hearing. <laughs> this is chaotic. Today uh, marks the return of Sound Guy Jordan. But this time he's going to be speaking instead of just yelling at us. <laughs> yes, the Sound Guy will make sound. Wow. 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 And... <laughs> Our special guest, the DM of our <laughs> long-running D&D game, Callum. Yay, it's Yay. me. Favourite fantasy book series, Tell you said? There's not a lot that I've read all the way through. I made it to the fifth Harry Potter book. Mm-hmm. Didn't continue. I made it past the first Aragon book. <laughs> didn't continue. Beat you it's not that. that I didn't like it. It's just I, I wasn't a very prominent reader in my oh, childhood my. but I did read all of the Maze Runner books Ooh. the writing's not fantastic yeah I know I was about to say I really tried to like the first one it's but not, could not fantastic get but you gotta just you gotta hook on the concept and you slept yeah. on Aragorn though? I didn't sleep on Aragorn I loved the movie it's controversial <laughs> but I loved the movie I don't be and your no, sh- <laughs> I played the PS2 video game what? Aragorn what? there's a what? I wasn't even aware. There's a PS2 video game of almost everything, wasn't there? Yeah. But, like, all I'm saying is, I'll talk about it more in the uh, video games part two episode, (laughs) but it was the best. They had stealth missions. The magic was fun to use. Oh, Oh. it was good. Okay, I'm impressed. So that's the extent of my, like, fantasy books. It was the first series I read so hard. It was like, I'm, I'm meant to go to bed, but I'm still reading. That's the kind of dedication I had when Brom died. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> like you were going to read it. <laughs> I was shook. And Christopher Paolini. Here's a fact I have. He wrote the first book when he was 15. He started writing it at 15. And I just think that's a fun fact. It's a very Nothing fun else fact. to it. <laughs> That is, in fact, a fun fact. And they're chonkers, too. They're massive books. Like I was dedicated. But I'm in the Discworld series now, which is a bigger dedication than any. The reason we're talking about fantasy today is because, well, we have a DM. (laughs) And we have a boy, uh, Jordan, who laughs. Yes. (laughs) Whatever that means. means. Live action roleplay. Oh, I didn't actually know what it stood for. I knew what it was, but I didn't know it stood for something. Yeah, live action roleplay. So it's live because you're there in person. Um, there's action because you hit people. You hit people <laughs> with um, foam swords, and it's role play. Sometimes real swords. It's role play. It's well, something. real wooden swords. I really want to know a lot more about this. What do you mean hit people? The one that I go to called Heroes Odyssey. Basically, it's like this fantasy setting. Basically, th- think of it like D and D but real life. So, you know, you create your character and whatever. That's and terrifying. <laughs> if you're invested, you then um, create, like, an outfit and all that, and, you know, you'll get things. And then you have uh, these foam weapons. That looks know. super realistic, though, if they... Yes. Yeah. Um, there are some expensive ones, aren't there? They're just expensive in general. Like, don't get me started. But basically, you have these weapons which are made out of foam, but, like, they look realistic because they're a lot thicker than actual swords. And then, basically, you know, you'll start the game and there'll be some thing happening and you can then fight each other. Right. And you, know, you have your own hit points, but it's like an honor-based system. It's like basically everyone else has to uh, keep track of their own hit points. Uh-huh. And like, you know, uh, if you get hit with just a single-handed weapon, they'll take off one health. But if it's a two-handed, like a spear or something, they'll take away two health <laughs> hit points. Okay, but what happens if the character you're really invested in, like, loses all the hit points? Like, do you have to no. kill them off? No, because the number of times you die 
is many. Right. Uh-huh. So, so, so this... you just respawn. Yes. Um, there's this thing. I've only heard it referred to this at once. I, I don't know if that's a canon thing. There's all this lore and everything in the place that I go to and like all these gods and everything. Oh, but I heard it. I did not know this existed. Yeah. I just thought it was a bunch of people hitting each other with <laughs> no, realistic there, like, weapons. It's really deep. Yeah, there's like an actual lore and everything. Um, and I wish I could say I was more invested in it. But like, uh, <laughs> You're just pretty damn the <laughs> Well, like, I, I made my um, character called Rubalak Xavier. Um, mm. He's a Viking. Um, and so I based this whole thing about worshipping Norse gods. But the Norse gods don't technically exist. So. Well. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like, I do not care about this god. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I don't know. I, you are not. You are not Odin. You are not. I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the one party. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, there's this thing I've heard referred to as the power of the respawn. I don't know if it was a joke or not, but that's what I refer to. Basically, you just die, and then once you die, you then uh, uh, wait um, anywhere from like one to five minutes, depending on if it's a game night or a game weekend, which are amazing because you can camp and it's great. Wow. Um, I you then wait, and then you step through the veil um, back into the field, and you can't remember... Um, five minutes leading up to your death. Huh. Gee whiz. Oh. Yes, just to break up, just so you can't um, uh, metagame and go, mm. I know what they're doing and yeah. stuff, just to avoid that. Right. Or, like, specifically get revenge on the person who killed you. you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, like... yeah. You kind of have to then go out and go, okay, what happened? How did I die? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you, you've you invited us along before, yeah. but I've been too petrified to go, because <laughs> I don't know what the situation is with outfits, I don't know what oh. the situation is with weapons, what I don't do know mean? any of the what rules. What are the safety rules? Like, where's the hidden... They usually right? describe that at the day. Yeah, the um, thing there's, is... There's, there's like a whole rule thing, I took some screenshots just so I could Plus, get Plus, like it's actually... really hard to hurt someone with a phone weapon. I am... Yeah, you never know. I'm very oh, interested. Yeah, passionate. Um, there are actually, like, um... Uh, zones which you can't hit on a person obviously like the face <laughs> okay presumably. he's just pulled up <laughs> he's just pulled up a image here and it, it's a it's a you know a figure of a man and everything is green except for his head and his groin <laughs> those are you illegal. could have just said yeah no head no groin <laughs> I, had to get the, I had to get the image reference no head no head, head. Audio-based podcast. Yeah. Are you allowed to stab people? Because the last time I did it, you weren't allowed to stab people. Um, it depends on the weapon, because the way they're made, they have, like, a solid core. Yeah. Yeah. Support them. So Which... it depends on how much flexibility they have at the end. Right. What so... if it's, like, a, th- you know, through the, like, armpit situation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've been stabbed. Well, I mean, you can roleplay stuff if you want. Um... Our horse is allowed. <laughs> what, what a question. <laughs> we, I don't we think have... so. I wasn't there, and I've never seen him, but we do have a dragon. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> that um, was a jump. <laughs> no. uh, they, um, I just wanted horses, now you're dragons. I, actually, on my like, first game day, I fought a minotaur. That was great. Anyway, it's just I'm sorry, what? crazy costume. But anyway, they invested a lot to get this um, dragon thing. I think it's just manned by one person, so I think it's technically a wyvern, because they have right. arms. I don't know. Basically, it's just like a... You know, think like of, a like mechanical sort of like a or like a thing. no, because it's got the like those T Rex puppets, right? Kind of, but not that, but like good quality. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's... Can it breathe fire? I doubt it. <laughs> no, but it can throw a um a little foam ball and say fireball, <laughs> oh, and awesome. then you die. That's good enough. Oh, yeah. that's adorable. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> fireball. <laughs> There's like a ton of um fireball. <laughs> D&D stuff in there as well like in terms of spells there's like bark skin iron skin oh um, it somehow seems yeah. more and less nerdy than D&D yes it is also what I love <laughs> about it is just the variety of people I can I imagine yeah, what is the crew how many people are there oh, do you well, vibe with them yes I mean but there's just so many people and so many opinions that there's a lot of um <laughs> internal politics and sometimes oh. there are opinions of people bringing stuff on field the political from off field system. and vice versa right um it's like you know. acting. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring your personal lives into the actor's space, please. Yeah. Um, so, you know, but it's it's uh, great just the, you know, these people that I just, just yeah. I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm keen to come along. The next time it's, like, available. Yeah. I mean, it was, like, they just started back up again, but because of um, uh, recent 
events, uh, they decided to... Um, no, you just say there's a god of plague or something, and everyone goes <laughs> yeah, for it. Yeah, but no, I'm really specifically <laughs> referring to, the, to, to those two... Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. those two. Those two. Um, they're like, all right, well, they're going to cancel it. But, like, yeah. they have... Although, I think that might just be for the, the plague. Beanly Ipswich... Because they, they have, like, multiple... The one I go to have multiple locations like they have the gold coast chapter yeah. redland bay Cavalcher. true is that are you just like in the middle of a random forest or something like no. what's the deal uh, yeah. most of the time <laughs> it's like people <laughs> game nights usually take place in like a football field or something and right. so you have to use right, a lot right, of right. imagine, imagine. You're running into this yeah I know, right like, what? <laughs> what because i was just thinking imagine just being like strolling through the woods one night and you see a bunch <laughs> of like a fucking Straight minotaur up. comes out of the forest. <laughs> a dragon, some vikings. <laughs> like, Just, yeah, three yeah. people dressed as vikings come screaming away. <laughs> well, actually, on, um, but then game weekends, which are, like, weekend events in which you can go camp out and, like, mm. yeah, a day long of stuff. And there's a lot more role playing involved. It's yeah. It's great. Um, uh, but those days, um, you know, usually at, like, a campsite or something. Yeah. Um, like, uh, I don't think, I don't know if we go there anymore, but we used to go to, um, like, Karingal, uh, campsite, Mount Con. Right, and right, right, And it was, like, it's great, because you're, like, in a proper forest, it looks a lot more, you can get more invested. Because, like, I was thinking, laser skirmish and paintball places, mm. Mm. they should start offering, like... Uh, uh, yeah. a paid sort oh, of like your your LARP community yeah. can hire us for a weekend. I mean... Give them some extra money and give you guys a really good playing field. I mean, there is um, uh, another LARP that, like... Because most LARPs are usually like a fantasy or a medieval setting. Um, but there is one, which is post-apocalyptic. Ooh, and they use yes. nerf guns. Oh. They do have melee weapons as well. Um, I think it's called Post-Shock. I have it's, seen some of the, like, foam sort of apocalyptic yeah, yeah. weapons. I've, I've never um, managed to get to go to it because they don't do game nights, they only do big game days. Right. Um, but it looks really cool. Once we all graduate, we'll, yeah. uh, we'll go laughing. Do you, do you have wizards at all? Well, yeah, because you can fully, like, there's, like... I want to dress up as a wizard and just have a bag full of foam balls and throw it at people. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Fireball. I mean, Fireball. Fireball. Um, Fireball. You gain experience um, as you go and level oh. up, um, and then you level can up? spells. Level so, up. of course, you probably wouldn't know Fireball at the start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> what you know, spells are there, if not well, Fireball? as I said... Um, Magic Missile? Magic Missile. Oh, there's Fireball Ice Bolt, which I think freezes you temporarily. Mm, that's the oh. good shit right the good there. Shit. Um, oh, 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 the um, like basic attacking one. What's it called? Um, it's like an electric one. I can't remember the name. <laughs> Electroshock. <laughs> Electro. No, it's something... Zippity zappity. <laughs> Very simple. It reminds me of the... In uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu, the, you know, the Eevee yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah. I can learn? And it's like... What <laughs> are they? Zap. Baddie bad. Baddie bad. <laughs> that one gets me. Sorry, what? Baddie bad. <laughs> in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, because your Eevee is a normal type, but you're not allowed to, like, take it off your team, right? Uh -huh. And you're not allowed to evolve it into any of the evolutions, <laughs> and so it the game offers for your Eevee to learn different type moves, uh -huh. and they're really bad. Okay. Like the one for dark types is called Baddy Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like it's a kid trying to be edgy. Eevee, use Baddy Bad. <laughs> but look, my sister enjoys it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I do to it. It's the name of the podcast. Um, yeah. Then uh, other spells, uh, energy bolt. That was the electric. Can you energy hit people bolt. with your staff if you're a wizard? Yeah, like, can yeah, you yeah. use it as a if it's you made of foam? A, <laughs> yeah. It, oh, yeah. Just yeah. a wooden staff. <laughs> um, you can use it as like a pole arm and that. Like uh, that pole sounds arms amazing. Are broken. I'm out of spells. Whack. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually like pole arms are seriously broken. Because like I have like my sword's quite short. Mm. Um, I didn't. I luckily I didn't have to pay for it. Like um, one of the members of my clan when I first started, they just uh, was getting rid of some of their weapons, and because I'd been borrowing it, they're like, you can just keep it. And I'm like, oh, are you sure? That's a godsend. Wow. But it is like the sh like it's only eighty five centimeters, um, which is like the shortest end of the weapons. Um, which means when I'm fighting like two meter long yeah. polar, I feel like that's sort yeah. of just how it is in the real world. I mean, it is. <laughs> People with big long weapons it is. win. Like, shield walls. <laughs> 
are the best. And like back when the Vikings, my clan were like back in their heyday. The the heyday, the Viking heyday. Like we all had shields, we all had swords, and we were just, we were great at the shield balls. And what was awesome is, you know, this be this big fight. We'd be like, all right, we'd get ready. Then we'd bang. This took a turn. We it get is ready. pretty Viking culture. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> This is a PG rated okay, podcast, Jordan. Uh, that, was, that was a different plan. Right, let's get ready. Um, All right, we're going to bang. <laughs> uh, we, we bang on the shields and then, oh. you know, do, do a war cry. We'll do a war cry and charge. And we'll just decimate. Like, we would be outnumbered, but we'd still decimate into this battle. And Some because. Straight up booty car action. Yeah, literally, it's like because I... people generally go, oh my god, there are these madmen yelling. And so you just That's get all the these tactic, things. isn't it? It was mm-hmm. great, but we yeah. haven't had to Intimidation do it tactic. Yeah. Intimidation. Yeah, was, I'd I'd oh. be the one to just run head yes. first at a shield wall just to break the line so everyone yeah. else can I, get through. That, that's that's what you gotta do. You can, but again, take off your clothes. No. <laughs> <laughs> um there there that's are intimidating. <laughs> there are kids who go to this. Oh uh, kids do play, so you gotta just gonna You gotta be respectful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean if I, I was just going for historical accuracy. Uh, <laughs> are you allowed sure. shields? Yeah. What are the shields made of? Foam. Oh, oh okay. Well, they're, they're a harder foam, obviously, because they have like, the centre core. Because uh, the last place that I saw it like years ago, they had like full wooden shields. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Some places do. Feel like do that. shouldn't shield bash. I feel like, yeah, <laughs> shield <laughs> bashing is not but, allowed. No, shield bashing isn't allowed. Kind of oh, not with the, the even the phone shield. I suppose yeah. that is yeah. true. Yeah, Especially it's if it's like a seven-year-old child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you, are you happy to provide some photos that we can pop up on the Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I bought them today. There you go. Yeah. Look, we can catch Jordan up on the detour of the podcast Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. With my character, Rubalak Xavier. Rubalak. When you played love, did you um? What did you play? No, none of that. It was just everyone has a bunch of medieval looking weapons and you yeah. all hit each other. It was like a demo run. It was at a convention. Um, so uh, The basics. The basics. Yeah. 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 yeah you're in deep, aren't you, John? I am. So <laughs> I haven't got to go for a while just because of uni and yeah. everything. You we'll bring you back for, for, for another episode once you've taken our slapping. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That That's going to be an experience. <laughs> I can't wait I to bang on the field. <laughs> we'll do, we'll, uh, I'll take you guys to a games day. And, like, we can camp out. It'll uh, be great. Oh. I've done, like, actual kendo sparring before. Ooh. So, um, yeah, using, like, a foam sword, it's great because yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone else just has this sort of, oh, I guess hit, but then I'm like, wham, wham, <laughs> wham, <laughs> systematically <laughs> break down your opponent. Yeah. I mean, having actual skills, like, for fighting is great. Mm. Although it is slightly different because, again, you know, if you get hit in the arm with a sword, in real life, it's kind of game over because you, yeah. have hit points. <laughs> because you have hit points. It is sometimes oh, my viable, is missing. <laughs> yeah. um, if you have enough to run in because it's like, okay, if you take one hit. Mm. Mm. Are, uh, you know those, like, arrows that have foam on the yes, end? Those are, those are, those are used. Oh, that's Whoa. Cool. You can actually like, archer if you want. Oh, do that's people cool. use actual bows? Do they bow have arrows? actual bows? Because I have oh, yeah, an actual they, they bow. Use actual, but they, they have to be have specific. A um, one piece power. wooden bow. Oh, oh. What's the power limit? I don't remember off the top of my head because I've never. Oh, I believe gone to my bow is there. 40 pounds. I don't know. I mean, yeah. that's not that the heaviest That would be so much fun. <laughs> it is. You're so my guy. my character in our D and D game is currently a ranger, <laughs> so <laughs> I froth for oh a good God. bow and arrow. Josh's character. Do you have is a bow and arrow? Because I have two bow and arrows. I you look. Can have one of I, d- I don't, don't have a me. proper bow and arrow, but as a kid, I had like you know yeah. all the little oh, all nice. the little ones. Yeah. You know, we um, can. I, you can just have one of my bows, and we can we can just and go can, and be freaking tag team. Let's do it. Oh, you have to teach me how to use. <laughs> yeah, it's not complicated. Just like the arrow in and. My cousin like used her. to do archery. Actually, it was very interesting. I was too young at the time to like want to try it because she had like one yeah. of the, the 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 long bows. Yeah. Whoa. Like one of the fancy. That's not very <laughs> long. <laughs> That's like a no, pretty short no. bow. <laughs> they had they had a really a really long one. Do you mean just a long one, like like one of the fancy like? One of the ones that Compound you couldn't bows. even like hold. You had to like stick it wheel? into the ground. And oh, so did an actual like big... long long bow. Yeah, like an actual long bow, like. 
was it like this long or this long? And it was it, it was very it? big. Oh, I nice. don't know. Like I was proper, little. Yeah, that I sounds like remember. a proper longbow. <laughs> Longbows cool. are cool. I have a yeah. friend who has a longbow. It and was there, like hundred pounds. Yeah, because yeah, cool. they they lived up on a farm on Mount Me, and so there was just plenty of space. Sorry, they just yeah. Mount Me. Mount Me. Yeah, yeah. Mount Me. Yeah. By like Daybro near Petrie, you You're know. Just saying words. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. And with that, I mean, let's get into some D and D, fellas. Yeah. Well, speaking of bows and stuff, can we talk about Sadie the Spider Gnome? Yeah, that was like such an accidental <laughs> creation of a spectacular character. So, um, yeah. So let me introduce myself. <laughs> Good day, laddies. My name's Sadie the Spider Gnome. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like the voice changes yeah. every session. It does change every session I because I can't commit to a full <laughs> Scottish accent. Oh, yeah. I, I get... also love how it was like halfway through the game that you were like, okay, I want my character to have an accent yeah. now. <laughs> it, you gotta let it evolve, you know? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. now it's it's just lore no, that all just... forest gnomes are Scottish. Yeah. You can't, you can't convince me otherwise. It's just a shame. That I'm the one in the group with the worst Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame that you made that law when I can't do a Scottish accent either. So every yeah. gnome NPC. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, I started as just a, a wee a little a ranger, gnome ranger. Gnome. And then I was like, let's just give the party a legendary magic item and see what they do with it. So they got this cloak of like spider ness oh, we didn't oh, just yes. okay we didn't yes, just get it oh well, yeah you, i didn't you just put it on an npc you. who was an very NPC problematic who yeah he he was pretty good at evading you guys but eventually you captured mm. him and yeah. then yeah you killed him and stole his cloak we didn't <laughs> no we didn't kill him did we 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 made the police arrest him oh that's right we no. convinced they we probably convinced killed him probably oh. but then oh. i got i got the cloak which allowed me to a uh, climb on walls at the same pace as my walking speed. And upside down on ceilings. And upside down on ceilings. And um, once a day, I can use a web spell. and It's it, twice as effective as the yeah. regular spell. Became so it's like 40 feet diameter. I became a spider, spider gnome. gnome. And <laughs> then, completely by chance... This is a recent uh, development. Yeah. Just completely by chance, rolling on a magic table, uh, magic item reward table, he got a ring of jumping. So he can <laughs> jump how high? Uh, I can jump up to 12 foot high, but I can also leap forwards up to 70 feet because I can just run 30 feet and then jump another yeah. 40 or whatever. And so <laughs> spider rabbit gnome, I just, I leap down from the ceilings. I, I've got, I've got my poison. I've got my vial of serpent's venom. Oh, yeah, that's so right. So I'm a venomous <laughs> spider rabbit gnome. And that is Sadie the ranger. <laughs> I'm also three foot tall and the beefiest out of everyone in that's our like six level person seven. group. <laughs> everyone else is level five. It's true. I, oh, I, oh, I also, I've got the tireless feet. So my base HP at the moment is oh, yeah. 52. And then you get, everyone you else get is in the temporary 30s. hit points as well. Yeah, I can, I can roll a d10 plus my wisdom modifier to add temporary hit points onto myself before a battle. I have to create oh, no, encounters really with you in mind. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> be because like, then I... everyone else will die. <laughs> I know, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. But I, I'm currently the only healer because Taro is incapacitated and Bringo is just even more in, incapacitated. In the void. Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to introduce your character? Oh, Peter? yeah. Well, we'll get to Bringo. <laughs> it's the second character I played in this campaign because somebody died. Oh, well, yeah, let's go right from you the beginning. You look at me like it was my fault, but my it character, wasn't. I yeah. gave you every chance to be alive. I've had the same character <laughs> right from the beginning, and that's yeah. why I'm the most beefy. It's because I'm like There's one of the only There's only two characters. characters that have been from the very beginning. And one of them's kind of having a mental breakdown. Yeah, Rodney right doesn't count because he keeps on. That's uh, Manager Tane's character uh, is uh, Rodney the Sorcerer, uh, Half Elf Sorcerer. He will pussy out in in an instant and run out of every <laughs> every battle. Some stuff. <laughs> Sometimes battles become a bit too much for him. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So your new character, or why don't you say your last character well, first? My beautiful, beautiful Dennis the Formidable. Whoa. He was an old, decrepit man. 
and he was a cleric, uh, in quotation marks. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, being a cleric was the best thing he could do, because his strength and dexterity score had negative modifiers, didn't they? I rolled badly. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you couldn't even, if we were going by, like, the proper rules, you couldn't even carry your own armor. It was only well, when we yeah. changed it to, yeah. like, the... Like actually keeping track of how much stuff weighed, but you we have made five it work with the character. Yeah. yeah, it was good, but it was bad. <laughs> it made sense though. <laughs> it was good for the role play, but yeah. it didn't help the party a lot. Oh, but oh, we geez. love Dennis, fan fave. Uh, he tragically died from <laughs> fire breath by trying to take cover from an AOE attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh After Uber tried to rescue you. I never played. D&D yeah, before. it's alright. Yeah. It's a learning experience. Was this like the first session? No, 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 no this no, was no. like the this was like the first. Session. Yeah, but it was I like the know first what chapter. A I could do. Yeah, <laughs> That's well, I even told Bo, I was like, "This is the dragon we faced that one time that decimated our entire group. Well, Be ready for that ability. Explain to them what's going to happen." <laughs> And I even gave you, like, 20 minutes to strategize. And then Bo sacrificed his his uh, barbarian. Yeah. His Goliath barbarian. Dude, you were so to close try to and save <laughs> decrepit old Dennis, who then just died anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was quite tragic, but we love him. And my new character is uh, named Taro, half-orc. Uh, and Sorry, Paladin. I um, I don't believe that's their full title. Yeah, I was gonna say oh, their full oh, title. Pardon me. <laughs> so yes, we did have Dennis the Formidable, uh, which then transferred into Taro the Unworthy. <laughs> 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 Who has since made themselves very worthy? I'm sure. Well, now she's in like a, a alternate dimension. Things happen. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, very stressful. Whenever, whenever I try and explain what's happening in my current game, I'm like, okay, so this is happening. Oh, but first, wait. So they got to this point by doing this, and they yeah. got here doing this. Man, it's, it's a roller back coaster. Back. It's so much gone. I yeah. honestly, every session, I'm ready to be betrayed because it's like I you know. set out, you set out very simple things for us to do. I'm like, okay, it's just gonna take some time. We'll fight some things, but then we'll start doing one of the things, and you'll add two more things onto it. And I'm like, oh, and by the way, you also have a three day time limit to rescue one of your teammates from an alternate dimension. <laughs> But then when we failed, you were like, you were like, all you had to do was these three simple things. I'm like, well, sometimes I don't mean to overcomplicate it. (laughs) Sometimes you guys get too focused on the one thing. I'm like, yes, there's a lot going on, but just bite sized pieces. We wasted so much time last session because I really wanted to save one of the characters. My alignment is good. You did save the character, and I'm like, great. He's saved. You just need this information. Maybe you should go off to these guys. They might have that information. You're like, no, nah, we got to betray this character now. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I couldn't find it in my heart, you know? Yeah, things got heated. <laughs> yeah. It was an intense session. Emotions were high. Yeah. We braked for lunch. Callum was like, Josh, are you okay? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm just... Tired. <laughs> <laughs> Tired. Oh my uh, god. I accidentally killed Rodney's bloody deep wrath or no, whatever it's called. Accidentally. You were pretty clear that you didn't care about its life. No, like, I d- to I be <laughs> fair. No. To be fair, it was Rodney's like fault for putting it into Yeah, the, true. Rodney made his cow charge straight into a s- three swarms of rats, actually, that yeah. then merged together and started eating it. It was a mercy killing. <laughs> It was a yeah, mercy there were, like, killing. Rats crawling through its body. Yeah, oh. and this poor cow is looking and up was, at me. It was the perfect opportunity too. Let's be real. You weren't thinking about the cow. You were thinking about all the damage you could do at all the rats. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. They were all bunched up, and you're like, I've got this explosive arrow thing. No, in saying that though, I did think about like casting shield, but then I was like, shield won't work on Grace. It only works on me. And like, I can't put my healing spell down there because I'll start healing three swarms of rats. <laughs> <laughs> like it was either it was either I, I wait another that. turn to let Rodney try and deal with it, but Rodney was on the other side of the room being attacked. Is this a bad time to mention that rat swarms can't regain hit points? Oh, it is a very bad time to mention. <laughs> That's everybody, don't it is a you. very bad time to mention. <laughs> Tane, stop listening right now. But no, it was either wait another turn and let the rats devour this poor cow, or I can just pop it in the head. You know? Mercy killing. Mercy killing. And, I mean, like, 
meta knowledge, the cow was gonna come back. You all knew that he could bring the cow back. Yeah. Even if you're But I, yeah, I wasn't acting on the knowledge that the cow <laughs> was gonna come back. Just between us and uh, the the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Tain. Tain's gone. Yeah, Tain, Tain, you can come listening. back now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, well, yeah, that's our campaign, but DM, sir. Mm. We asked some questions. We have questions. Oh, okay. Go for it. Jeez. How did you start DMing? Okay, so it all began with a YouTuber named Cryotic, and he uh, had a D&D game. Um, which was, like, pretty grim. So I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I listened to those, and they're, like, eight episodes or something. And I was like, I'd love to try this. And then me, Bo, and then two of our friends in, like, year seven or something. Wow, like, that young. I know. Jeez. And I didn't understand the rules at all. And I mi- mixed up 4th edition and 5th edition because oh, I didn't understand no. that there were different editions because yeah. my brother-in-law had stuff from 4th edition but everything online had 5th edition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was a complete mess and then we did it like months later and one of the friends couldn't make it and then it was just two and then we had two different friends join in and then those two couldn't make it and then we had these other two and it was just a mess. What? I've actually recycled a lot of uh, cool concepts from that game. And use them in this one, oh, so I can cool. properly do it. What are, what are the biggest differences between fourth edition and fifth edition? Because I've only okay, played fifth so edition. Fifth edition is fun, and fourth edition isn't. Okay, well what? that explains why they changed it. Yeah. Then, so. so fourth edition. Um, okay, so you know, in fifth edition, you have all these spells. You yeah. got one that does. Oh, it's Scorching Ray. It does like two beams of fire or whatever, yeah. and you roll for each of them, and everything's on fire. In fourth edition, it's like you roll 2d12 and they take damage and then it's like it's fire damage or something right. and then there's another spell that's like it's ice damage but yeah. it's also the same amount of damage right. and every yeah. single class like when they get to level 6 or something just gets an extra d6 of damage and it's the exact same mm-hmm. and yeah it's it's pretty much like too much numbers not mm-hmm. enough creativity uh, Yeah, right. which is why a lot of people stuck with uh, 3rd edition or yeah. 3.5 edition I believe it's called that I never played <laughs> okay. and what's that before about? my time. Um, it's a lot more complex than fifth edition. Fifth edition yeah. is a lot um, more like streamlined rules. In third edition, there were so many skills. There's one that's literally just jump. It's your <laughs> skill. <laughs> so third oh, edition had so many rules, but once you were proficient with the rules, you know, you could do yeah. so much more. Ah. We're still not proficient with the yeah, rules. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like fifth edition is because like, yeah, if you're playing D&D every single day, then sure, mm. all those rules will become amazing. Yeah. But if you're playing it like once every few months. I gotta have a, I gotta have the player's hand all of, yeah, nearby. Yeah, you gotta forget all yeah. the rules. I mean, out of out of everyone in our D and D group currently, like who do we, we we've got Sadie, the the r- rabbit spider gnome. <laughs> we've got Tarot, the unworthy, <laughs> the half orc. What's your him. what's your new character that you like rolled up just last week? <laughs> yeah, since I got sent to just a temporary dimension, character. Um, I rolled a beautiful little weasel. <laughs> his name's Weasel. He's a greasy man. <laughs> <laughs> That's his class and yeah, race. Greasy, greasy man. man. <laughs> yeah. And we have bloody what's Weasel? Weasel's Kane. Yeah. Kane. Kane. What? Kane. What is he? It's a sort of Timon and Pumbaa situation. A, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did not get that vibe at all. <laughs> I was getting it. Honestly, you two. I can see it now, but yeah. <laughs> Just so uh, you know. We've got Rodney, of course. We have oh, rest in peace, <laughs> Bringo. Bringo's the, he's not dead. The but... changeling uh, pulled an unfortunate card from the deck of many things, <laughs> uh, and is now oh. blanked out. The worst um, part is that's the worst card you can get. Yeah, and we've gotten it twice yeah. so far. Oh, but I mean, fortunately, gonna... the first time it was an expendable monkey. Well, I didn't think it was expendable, <laughs> but then Bo was like, "I'm gonna just turn my familiar into this expendable lab rat." Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, who am I forgetting? We got Eli. Eli. Eli the edgy. The... <laughs> <laughs> Eli yeah. the edgy rogue human. Wow. Uh, no, that's jets, a good one. Jets getting good Where's a cool hood? And of course, <laughs> Bo's character. Trajan Adderall, <laughs> which I love. 
His character is hot. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. It's just the because hair. Bo is the only competent one. Yeah. <laughs> it's because Bo wanted to create a character that looked attractive so that he could, like, uh, intimidate people. Yeah. That's what he said to me. Yeah. But also, Those I'm going to intimidate his you question how number two. To me. His question number two. Oh. Out of our current party... Who's your favorite? Oh. <laughs> oh, you I literally expected this question. <laughs> yeah, well, I got I gotta ask it. Um, I feel like it changes constantly based on the situation. Right now it's Rodney because he's got yeah. so much stuff going yeah. on. Uh-huh. It's so interesting to explore it. But um I feel like before then, I guess just Bringo because of how important yeah. it was to the story. <laughs> yeah. But again, it's just going to change constantly based on what's happening in the story. And who's got Lachlan armor? and Bo. No <laughs> <laughs> one has plot armor. How dare you? Bringo's fucking gone. <laughs> Lachlan and Bo. Literally key. Add in all the comedic timing. Yeah. <laughs> all the comedic Sorry. timing. Because they're just beautiful. a comedy duo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's me in the corner just trying on a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> I have my moments. I have my moments. Yeah, what's you your, have some pretty badass. What's your favorite Sadie badass moment? Um, I've said this to you guys before, and it's a pretty minor kill that you had, but it was just so efficiently done. You were in the sewers, and there were two giant rats coming for the party. You were sit, you were sitting on the roof of the sewers, and you dropped down onto the rat's back, instantly killed it, and then fired your uh, projectile sword into another rat, instantly killing it. Getting yeah, two yeah. kills on both of your. Attacks. Yeah. Yeah. It was so satisfying. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's not that like impressive of, of a thing, but mm. just the way it was mm. done. I remember also very early on in chapter one of the campaign. What are we in now? Chapter three? Yes. Yeah. In chapter one, when we were facing all the spiders, the giant spiders, mm. I remember that combat encounter where I ended up inside a spider. <laughs> this is when I still I had <laughs> this is when I still had my sickles. Vaguely. Oh, before yeah, you maybe get rid of my sickles, sickles my yeah, useless you sickles. Like, you say like, useless, like, yeah. but I ripped inside of a spider oh, that's right. and then tore this, myself yeah, out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, because you were beneath it, weren't you? So yeah. you just ripped and I just it and jumped it fell through. on it on you and then you just yeah, clawed your oh, way out born. of it. And from that moment forward, <laughs> reborn as a spider. We knew this gnome was destined for unholy things. <laughs> I was birthed by a radioactive spider. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been, sorry, I've been, sorry. um, I've been looking uh, at creating a few more characters recently. Not Ooh. for any campaign in particular, mm-hmm. but just for having some in store. You know, yeah. I'm working on a, a Tabaxi fighter. Oh, not my And theory. I'm working. Yeah, on... that's why. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. That's like number one class. I don't. Want. <laughs> Look, Tane's playing a Loxodon. What's, are those the, the elephant The things? elephant people. Yeah, those yeah. are alright. Um, There's no fairy art about elephants. <laughs> well, well, uh, well, well, not I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also working on a uh, human blood hunter. Ooh. Which I'm very excited about. about. Tell me about the blood hunter. Except that. Oh, Look, so created they, um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's very interesting. So it's like, I don't know the whole law, so I'm timid to say things <laughs> because I isn't don't want to do it dirty. But isn't they it use like the Witcher, isn't it? Like really similar to the Witcher. Practically, or yeah. Really, basically, they're fire. really good hunters, and yeah. they dedicate their lives to hunting down a very specific type of evil. Oh. And there's this really cool thing that Tane explained to me because we're gonna play Blood Hunter Twins. Because that's edgy to the extreme. (laughs) One of us is going to specialize in uh, ghosts, like the supernatural. And then the other one of us is going to take the the trait where we can uh, turn ourselves into a specific animal. Mm. And that's going to be uh, our dichotomy. It really suck if you ran out of all of the creatures you were hunting. Yeah. Like, I've dedicated yeah. my life to this. and Well, then I guess you succeed. Yes. I mean, I, I won, succeeded. but great, now what? <laughs> I can't Retire. remember what yeah. exactly it is that makes you a blood hunter, but I think it's some sort of ritual when you're an infant or something. Mm. And it, like... It gives you your blood this special power, and you can use your blood to fight or something for spells and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, it's very cool. You can choose to also um, you can choose to add like necrotic damage or fire damage or ice damage to one of your weapons as well, just from the get go. Yes. 
but um, there's a very specific weapon that I have in mind for my Blood Hunter character, and that is the spine whip. Ew. Oh, yeah. Are you familiar with the like spine the whip? Sound of no. That. It's a bit OP to start out with, but <laughs> I think we're, I'll, we'll, we'll homebrew the way yeah. for it to sort of mm. level up as I level up because I really want it as yeah. like a family heirloom. What is it? Yeah, sword of the creator. Here. Yeah. So you roll. Hold up. <laughs> Talk about something. Hang we'll on. detour back well, to it. Well, I'll tell you what the image <laughs> just evokes yeah. for me. I, I, it's a whip. And it is a spine. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, a spine. I was I, thinking like a whip that has a bunch of spikes coming yeah, I mean, off of it no, or something. No, I mean, like a human spine. Um, like a human <laughs> spine. I, I mean, for me, I went with um, a, it's like that's basically just Violet's weapon in the new Fire Emblem. Like his sword is like a weapon made out of bones Whoa. that can extend as a whip. Yeah. I feel it's like it's a, a bone whip wouldn't be like wouldn't be very durable. Well, yeah, it's, like it's, 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 it's magic. It'd be, it'd be, <laughs> yeah. Oh, if it's magic. It's magic, yeah. and it fits the Blood Hunter aesthetic. Okay, here's a picture of it for those oh, of us in the room. Oh, fuck, it actually is a spine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. H. Christ. But My here, mind. let me read it to you. <laughs> Where is this from? Is this from... Unearthed Arcana. <laughs> oh. This whip has six charges. Make a melee attack using the statistics for a flail. On a hit, flail. the target takes... On a whip? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> On a hit, the target takes an extra 1d6 bludgeoning damage and must succeed on a dc17 constitution saving throw Jesus. or become paralyzed until Fuck. the end of its next turn. Yeah. Uh, skeletal yeah. creatures have an powerful. advantage on the saving throw, but here's the kicker. If the last charge is spent, roll a d12. On a roll of 1 to 9, the whip falls apart and its vertebrae transform into 1d6 skeletons that obey your commands for 24 hours. On a roll of 10 to 11, the whip falls apart and its vertebrae transform into a minotaur skeleton Jesus H. that is hostile to any creatures it can see within 60 feet, including you. Interesting. <laughs> a lot of magic items have, like, if you use up all the charges, it yeah. might get destroyed, but not, yeah. like, turns into skeletons. <laughs> or on a, a perfect 12, the whip will remain intact and regains all of its spent charges. Oh. And know. regains all its spent charges. Uh, and the whip regains powerful. 1d4 yeah. charges at dawn. So... Yeah. That's pretty OP. Yeah, just, yeah, just, just it a is. small chance to die. There's a small chance of a <laughs> ske- ske- skeletal minotaur just well, ripping just everyone to, like, to shreds. Not use it, like use up all its charges. Yeah, yeah. but also it's like cautious. it's kind of worth it. Hey, <laughs> it's kind of worth it. It is ridiculous. But so yeah, that's the that's all the characters I'm working on currently. Nice. Gee whiz. Yeah, actually, um, last night, um, because like you know, D and D Beyond looks really great for like setting our characters and stuff. Yeah. Like, there's some on mobile that, it's you know, have everything, <laughs> but, you know, don't look good. And I'm like, I just need something where I can create a character and it'll have everything because I can't afford shit. <laughs> and so I went looking for something and then I found it and, like, I would chat it out, but I can't remember what it was called. It began with A, anyway. Um, but it's like this uh, program for the computer and basically uh, you just uh, download all the, um, I don't know, index mm. files um, and basically it just then has everything D&D and it sets it out really nicely and will create a character page and go. I'm like I can just like the character that I've been thinking of for um, uh, Callum's Ooh. campaign um, I went and then set out so I could actually see it yeah and what yeah class? Um, cleric oh, we need <laughs> because we one. need one <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not yeah, only other healer good. just got fucking sucked away to a different dimension yeah. and like the thing is, my character sheet for Callum's campaign is fucked. Right, I know. it was so messy. I really need to redo it. I gotta redo it. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> at least I still only have one character sheet <laughs> for my one character. <laughs> I'm gonna curse myself. Good lord. Uh, yeah, there's no way you're dying though. Uh, the, don't shh, shh. I'll see. the DM is in the room Peter. we don't discuss this don't egg me on <laughs> oh, God. Uh. if you want more of Peter and Josh take a detour to our podcast socials at podcast detour on twitter and detour the podcast on instagram one of the questions we got from the boys 
I, I just thought of one and then I forgot it. <laughs> you need to do your trick again that you did in episode two where you're like, imagine you're going up into space. Right. Oh, yeah. and, <laughs> and then I'll remember it at the end. <laughs> Um, I, no, we're going to go for a deep dive this time. Oh. Dive. Uh, I submarine. hate the ocean. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm petrified That's of the ocean. That's where you've got to go to get the whatever you forgot. Yeah, true. It dropped, true, true, it true. sunk. Yeah. Oh, God. Let's talk about the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> gross. How dare you? The ocean Can is do... amazing. No, it's just like deep, deep ocean. No, like, so deep ocean is cool. cool. You s- it is cool. Is... I admit it. It's so cool. But it's also yeah. terrifying. Some Nordica. Would you take a million dollars, but you have to be dropped in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and you have to stay there for 24 hours? You've asked me this before. Wait, no, wait, but I would die. No, no. just 24 hours. You can stay afloat you can for 24 just hours. tread water for 24 hours, right? Maybe. You get so tired. You just do the dead man's float. Just yeah, like, but also, like... But also, you yeah. would become uh, dehydrated and people. probably... Yeah, that's you got to stay conscious. I did, I did watch <laughs> yeah, it. And you get like viciously sunburnt as well. Yeah, oh. I watched a documentary on sharks oh, recently, no, no. and it was narrated by the one and only Paul McGann. Oh, I love his voice. Yeah, it was oh, so dreamy. interesting, and he went through all the different types of sharks, and it is so fascinating. Shark did you know the shark's skin is made out of tiny, 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 minuscule teeth? So did you know that? Say that's that again. Shark that's skin that's is real. made of teeth. Google it. Well, or better yet, watch Paul McGann my, tell you about it. From my understanding, I mean, their scales are essentially... Sorry, like if you pat them down one side, they're they'll serrated. be smooth, but if you do it the other uh, way, they'll be serrated. Yeah, they, they are serrated. Tongue? They did a zoom in and it's, they're I mean, like little sharp instead of hair. That's, that's, scales. That's why Sharpedo has the ability of rough skin. There you go. Pokemon, man. Wow. So, yeah, we're down in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Take me to find my memory. We're going to dodge those shark teeth yeah, bye. situation. Goblin sharks, no thanks. Oh, my God. Have you seen goblin sharks? Yeah, they're no. like, they have a mouth inside their mouth. They launch okay, their jaw forward. Good lord. I know, okay, there's, well, a, there's a prehistoric shark I'm show that could open its jaw so quickly it created a momentary vacuum to suck its mm. prey in. Jeez. Sounds amazing. And there's also it's... like the helicoprian. Um, I'm which, sorry, what? <laughs> um, no, it's, it's gone through so many different changes because, again, all you find of sharks is their teeth. But its teeth are basically found in like a spiral. Mm. Um, and it's like, you know, at yeah, first they thought, okay, so the spiral was like mm-hmm. outside the mouth, which is weird. But like the current consensus is that they just kind of have like a saw on the inside. And they've just clamped it down and grind what? shells. Damn. Who okay. needs fantasy when you got real life? I know, yeah. right? Oh, Look, past. the next campaign we do is going to have dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. Talk. Ah, oh, dinosaurs, man. I've got D&D cards <laughs> for dinosaurs. I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> there is a type of shark, and I don't mean to get all Sharknado on you, but there is a type of shark that can walk on land. Uh, no, I've forgotten no. what it's called, no, no, but it, no, no. it hunts in, in very shallow on. reef water. Yeah. Right, but then sometimes the tide goes out and it's like stuck on land. But this shark oh, yeah, can yeah. turn off straight up like light switch mode its internal organs <laughs> yeah. and then walk to water. I don't and it can understand. stay out of water for like an hour. It's that such is a crazy. Imagine, ability. <laughs> imagine having that coming towards you, this fucking yeah. walking shark. <laughs> Life, here's a, here's uh, a goblin shark. Oh. You just gotta wait for it to bite. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not the most attractive shark. Come on, give us a chomp. Oh, oh. oh. here's a chomp. Oh. God, it doesn't look nice. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's really... Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. See? And that's why I don't go in the ocean. <laughs> Oh, I'm never ocean. finding that memory. Sorry, I'm not going any deeper into the ocean with you, Peter. Abort. Abort. Off we float. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we don't have that question that you lost. What other <laughs> questions did you have? I found it. Ah! <laughs> I found it. As when we were, you give up. As we were floating up. up in the submarine, <laughs> I, is, I saw is. light out the window and I was like, what's that outside of the submarine? And I got my fishing rod out <laughs> and I fished it in. I don't know how that would work logistically, but... <laughs> I'm going to forget the question and again, the question, about finding it. The question is, 
Callum. Oh no. What's your favourite NPC voice to go to? Oh, I mean the Rat King. Give me a. Oh god, I don't even know if I can do it on command. Um. Oh, fuck. This is actually. I have to get prepared to do the Rat King. Get into character. Give him a moment. What's it like to live in the sewers among rats? <laughs> It's also a visual experience. So I'm yeah, yeah. Oh, it's sh- just shaking. Just imagine my head is a, a lot big... of shaking and yeah. chattering teeth. Mm, the Rat King. <laughs> Welcome. And just like that, it sounds like we all have hypothermia in the studio. <laughs> oh my goodness! I basically just watched like a whole bunch of Warhammer with the Skaven. They're like big rat people. And because they're constantly moving, I was like, what it'd be like to just constantly have maximum energy and excitement over everything mm. you're talking about. Yes, mm. it's fantastic. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but my favourite colour noise, just in general. Peter <laughs> 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 um, made it seem more flattering than you did. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> My favourite oh thing my is when, when you allowed us to kidnap the one remaining surviving goblin <laughs> in that goblin arena. Allowed and we you. took I them home choice. and Tang called it Evest and now Evest works with our like resident blacksmith. <laughs> Who is also a goblin. <laughs> and he is the grumpiest shit to ever exist. But he uh, provides me with all the finest powders. Yeah. I already love him. <laughs> yeah. You've not even explored. Like, I have actual stats for those drugs that you've got. You've really? You've even begun exploring them. <laughs> Time for a deep dive into yeah. you mean, drugs. You mean, the pu- you mean the purple powder does more than, like, one thing? Or is it, like, I just haven't bought other kinds? No, no, no. The purple powder does a thing. You just haven't re- totally figured out what that thing is. Oh, no. It's not good for you, but it does <laughs> oh, thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, no. All right. You we didn't should... have any other powders, did you? Wasn't one of them? No, just I just had. And another was just ground up iron or something. Yeah. Well, no, I or had silver. silver That's for right. Silver. A power. my spell and B for silvering my short swords. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which hinge mistook for you thinking you were gonna snort it? Literator. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Literator. What should I? I'll read a. I'll read a segment out of. Um, uh, the, the Aragon. Aragon? Aragon. Aragon. Uh, except. Aragon? Aragon. Aragon? Aragon oil. Now, I always pronounce Sapphira, well, in my head, Sapphira, when uh, I was reading it. Right. As See, I Sephira. say Sapphira. That's yeah. like, yeah. And I got to the Every end of book the book. Has a name like that. And he had, like, the pronunciations of <laughs> words. Why at the end? It should have been at the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I felt so betrayed, and I was mad. I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> doesn't wrong. sound right. Okay, we'll have an excerpt. Brisinger. Prologue, Shade of Fear, Aragon, uh, by Christopher Pale in it. Wind howled through the night, carrying a scent that would change the world. A tall shade lifted his head and sniffed the air. He looked human, except for his crimson hair and maroon eyes. <laughs> this is written by I remember, <laughs> I remember reading this like it was yesterday. Oh my god, triggering your nostalgia. He blinked in surprise. The message had been correct. They were here. Or was it a trap? He weighed the odds and said icily, Spread out, Ice hide me. behind trees and bushes. Stop whoever is coming, or die. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, the stakes are high. Around him shuffled twelve urgles. Okay, in this book they called orcs urgles. Right. They're basically orcs. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like all orcs the is copy written. Authors. <laughs> they try to make their own versions of the fantasy yeah. lore, but yeah. it's just the same. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, with short swords and round iron shields painted with black symbols. They resembled men with bowed legs and thick, brutish arms made for crushing. <laughs> A pair of twisted horns grew above their small ears. <laughs> the monsters hurried into the brush, grunting as they hid. Soon as the rustling quieted and the forest was silent again. Soon as the rustling... No, soon the rustling... Yes. I got it. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> <laughs> 
The shade peered around a thick tree and started looking up the trail. It was too dark for any human to see, but for him, the faint moonlight was like sunshine streaming between the trees. Every detail was clear and sharp to his searching gaze. He remained unnaturally quiet, a long pale sword in his hand, a wire thin scratch curved down the blade. The weapon was thin enough to slip between a pair of ribs, yet stout enough to hack through the hardest armor. You can't have both, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Choose. I'll do one more paragraph, because <laughs> it's getting tense. The Urgles could not see as well as the Shade. They groped like blind beggars, fumbling with their weapons. An owl screeched. <laughs> Cutting through the silence. <laughs> Owls don't That's screech. <laughs> screech owl. Yeah, they... Screech owl. They... No one relaxed until the bird flew past. Then the monster shivered in the cold night. <laughs> one snapped a twig with his heavy boot. The shade hissed in anger. And the ergle shrank back, motionless. He suppressed his distaste. They smelled like fetid meat. Ooh. And turned away. They were tools. Nothing more. Wow. <laughs> Aragon, everyone. <laughs> wow, I haven't read that since I was very small. <laughs> oh, oh, how lovely. How lovely. Yeah. Do, uh, what do you mean you like the movie, though? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Look, I don't like the movie. What? I don't like the movie. Why are you saying things can you see, don't mean, Joshua? I can see all the flaws in the movie. But, you know, when you're small and you yeah. watch something right. that has so big like fancy dragons and magic, yeah. it's nostalgia. Yeah. 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 The only things that like were nostalgic to me in my childhood that are still good now are just like Spyro. That's it. <laughs> it's Spyro. I've never played And maybe Spyro. actually uh, I've seen it played a lot of times. But I haven't played it myself. You know those fruit jelly cup things. Yes. yes. Yeah. Those still just as good now as they were back yeah. in primary school. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't know. What a hot take. What did I hear, John? We never what asked you me? what your fantasy series was. Yes, I had it already. Um, I don't know. I kind of had two in particular that I finished um, during school. There was one, um, uh, it was this book series called The Fire Within. Mm. Um, it, mm. It's like about clay dragons, Ooh. but they're actual dragons. Whoa. And it's like there's this whole story, and it was, I, I barely remember anything about the plot, but I remember I loved it until I, <laughs> That's until, no, I, good note. <laughs> until the second last book, oh. in oh. which they started getting really involved in the plot and the history, and it was getting very convoluted, and my little baby brain was like, right. I don't get it. Right. And I never finished it. Sounds oh. like, yeah, that's something to revisit when you're older. Yeah. 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 Um, but then the other series. Um, which I would always borrow out from the library was um, the, the Alchemist series. Yes. Right. Yeah. I have yeah. heard of. I just had visions. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the book covers. Um, and I barely remember anything about those either. But I remember I love them. It was just magic and alchemy, I, yeah. Suppose. Yeah. I suppose. That was me with Delta Request, man. Oh, Delta Request. Delta Request, Delta Request was in every Australian library, library because yeah. it's Australian. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, Delta Request. Is great. Delta Request. Yeah, but. Uh, Key to Rondo, anyone? It was written by the same author, but no one really... It wasn't as popular, but I didn't read Doctor Quest. I read Key to Rondo. Of I was course a you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. You can. My favourite fantasy series. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I haven't actually read that many, like, fantasy series. Wow. Um, the only one I've read to completion was Throne of Glass, which is yeah. uh, pretty good. Yeah. Um, Is that about it? Yeah, um, but I, I haven't even, like, finished reading yet, yet, but already I love The Lord of the Rings. Uh-huh. True, true. So, mm -hmm. I feel Can't like forget about like Lord of the Rings, hey. Mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, other than that, Callum, your favourite fantasy series is just whatever comes up in your head, hey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can just, yeah. Our D&D campaign, whatever. that's our answer. Um, you come right. up with things so last minute. <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't mean to. Every night I'm like, why do I leave this to the last minute? We probably mess it all up anyway. <laughs> like, yeah. let's be real. We totally did not go on the track that you were nah, expecting that's us right. to. No, that's alright. That's, <laughs> nah, that's what D&Ds are about. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, I've learned a lot about LARP today. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I guess we're going. Oh, yes. God. We're gonna go. 
We'll, um, we'll, 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 you'll hear about it in a future episode, we very promise. Afraid. Pinky promise. Okay, pinky promise. That's a three way pinky promise if you're listening at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen to the pinky promise. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jordan, and yeah, thank you, Callum. No it's been a very interesting episode. It went so fast, man. Yeah. This I'm is probably engaged. the most on track we've stayed in an episode, <laughs> which is very off brand. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible, but okay. Because well, fantasy is so great to talk about. Yeah. yeah. Well, there we are. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Join us next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>